Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, RK Tractors, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, and Realtree. Well, here we go again. It's the evening of October the 3rd, and I'm back in the hot box. More of the same. We got record setting temperature. We've probably lost maybe three or four degrees since yesterday, so still in the mid 90s. And I'm just playing on the law of averages. The temperature has not stopped the bucks from coming to this field. They've been here several days in daylight. And just to recap, there are at least five that I would shoot on this farm. If I could line them all up and pick one, I would shoot Lucky. That's the nine point that I missed two years ago. But there's three eight points, a nine point, and a ten point that's been on camera recently on top of this hill. We've got a whole line of sawtooth oaks that are about 20 years old. They're raining acres and all the bucks in the area are attracted to this. In front of me, I've got the poorest excuse for an alfalfa field I've ever seen. Um, it has been a mean summer. It's been hot, it's been dry. Um, I know that we're going on five weeks with no rain. So everything is crunchy and struggling, but hopefully that's gonna change real soon. There is some rain in the forecast. But Everybody else is in the same boat. Uh, this farm is probably as attractive as any farm around just because of the acreage and what food is left. So, deer are already out in the field. So they're about 30 minutes earlier than they were yesterday. I think I saw my first deer at 5.30. So maybe that's a good sign. It's just after five, it's 5.07 right now. So, last night we only had, had uh, nine does, really eight does in a farm. So hopefully tonight the boys show up and one of them will stand out here and pose just like you always hope for. I guess we'll see. That's the seven point and I think he's a three year old. Awful pretty good though.
care how many times you do that. I've been, I've been hunting for a long time. And once I make my mind up that I'm going to shoot, and that buck or doe or whatever closes the distance, I still get rattled. I guess that's what keeps you coming back. You can't bottle it up and sell it. But that's a that's a cool deer, and I don't really have any history that I'm aware of with that buck. He just started showing up when all these sawtooths started dropping. But the best I could tell, he was mature. And he's one of the five I've been talking about. And for the back, lack of a better name, I've been calling him the lopsided eight. So, he looked like a real good shot. And I know right where he crashed into the woods. So, Probably uh, wait to the end of legal light and get down. Uh, the landowner, Dwayne, is just down the ridge from me um, where that other eight point was bedded yesterday. I got some pretty cool pictures of him in his bed. So <sighs> that feels great. Buck number one, Tennessee, 2019. I'm excited to go get him. Well, there you me and Dwayne just, uh, he finished his hunt, saw a bunch of deer, and we just picked up my arrow, and I just was lucky enough to be able to drive the truck right here and pick up blood. Right there, ain't it, so, I'm guessing this is going to be a pretty short trail. Let's see if we can get our hands on him. Looks an awful lot like an eyeball, don't it? I believe that's how far he went. <laughs> he could have went a lot bigger stuff than he went. Yeah. That'll do it. Well, that's going to do it for the lopsided eight point, for lack of a better name. We had five different bucks back here this year, and I know what pulled all of these deer in was all of those sawtooth acorns. He said you planted those trees like 20 years ago, didn't you, Dwayne? 20, yeah. Yeah. They probably 75 of them, and they just covered them around. Yeah. Every year during the early season, we pull bucks from adjoining farms, because this farm is fairly small. It's 132 acres, and the problem is we don't have history with a lot of the deer because it's so small. Um, the big farm, you know, we can yeah. keep up with them, you know, as they sometimes they shift their range and they never leave your property. But uh, that's just not the case here. But he was clearly a mature buck. Um, I think he's at least a four year old. Matter of fact, he was sparring with a deer that I think was three, and there's a noticeable difference in the body size. So, but I'm real proud to have him. It's my first buck for Tennessee 2019, and fortunately. We've got some rain in the forecast, and we've got a lot of work to do to get food to uh, hopefully pull more bucks in and continue our season. That'll do it. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank y'all for watching Midwest Whitetail. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. Today is October 5th, and my official day four here in Southern Tennessee. We're actually going back to the same spot that we were at yesterday afternoon. I'm expecting the movement this morning to be a little bit better than what it was yesterday afternoon for two reasons. Um, one is this spot, since we have a north wind now, this spot seems to be a little better set up for morning time movement than it is for afternoon. And uh, we had a pretty substantial drop overnight in temperature yesterday. The high was 91. This morning it's been ranging anywhere from 58 to 59 degrees this morning. So that's a good thing for us. Uh, hopefully I actually won't be sweating walking to the tree, but uh, that's the most important thing. I'm, I'm going to give this spot another shot this morning before I completely just write this one off my list for now and, and go to plan B and start making some more strategic movements to to get a little bit closer to these deer so um, I'm hopeful that we'll see some movement this morning so I don't have to mark this spot off but uh, depending on what happens this morning uh, 
I will probably be making a decision to to make some moves and, and get a little bit more aggressive with these deer here. So uh, y'all stick with us, we'll see what happens. not exactly what I'd planned to happen today, but uh, she just gave me a perfect shot and I couldn't turn it down. So, but just to kind of give you an update of what happened this morning, as I was coming in this morning, there were two bucks sparring here somewhere pretty close to this tree. It was dark, I couldn't really tell, so I just basically waited at the base of the tree until I couldn't hear them anymore. And then I climbed up the tree and uh, just as it was breaking day, one of those bucks was out in this pasture here to my south. And uh, I couldn't really tell that much about him. It was so dark, I could see horns. Uh, I tried to get the camera on him, but it was just too dark. So I was actually getting ready to get down. It's been pretty slow, seeing that one spike, but uh, I looked up as I was getting ready to get down and I seen a doe coming. And it's literally been probably two years since I've killed a deer on this farm. And I didn't really kill a deer last year at all with my bow. So I felt like it would be a good opportunity if she gave me a good shot. And of course she came right into this salt lick, gave me a perfect shot. So my freezer was running a little low. I've got some deer meat. I've got to start thinking about what I want to do. I think I want to make some some moves here. I'm going to have to pull out of this farm and I think maybe make my way over to another one of our farms. We hadn't really had any shooter bucks on camera over there, but I know there are bucks, shooters in that area. And uh, I'm just going to have to find them. So probably going to pull out of here probably come back when I get a south wind and try to hunt that buck bed again but for now I think it's time for me to give this farm a rest and uh, try a little different strategy on another farm so well, here's the arrow as you can see it's completely covered in blood um, pretty sure it's all lungs so uh, I know we got a good hit on her she shouldn't be far. I know she just went right up through here. So we're gonna try to get on the blood now and see if we can find her. You ready, dude? You gonna help me find her? Mm-hmm. Well, come on. We gotta start oh. looking for blood. Right up through here. See all of it right there? Mm -hmm. Right through here. Well, that's gonna wrap it up here in Southern Tennessee for day four for me. Uh, as you can see, we found our doe. We did make a good clean shot. It's a little further back than what I wanted it to be, but needless to say, it done the job. So we got it done. 
This is my first kill for the year, so on the board for 2019. Brought my little man along with me to help me track her. This is his first time to track a deer. So, what'd you think, man? Was that pretty fun? Mm -hmm. Did you help me find her? Good deal. Well, that's gonna wrap it up here for me today. Next time I'll be back, we'll be over at another farm. We'll call the uh, Big River Farm, so y'all stay with us. And uh, Thatcher? Thanks for watching.